Hey y'all, good morning. I am wearing my black flowy top again. I don't remember which day last week I wore it, but I've washed it since then. And I have paired it with some jeans that I cut the, the hem off myself. And then I have those shoes that I got from Target with the little heel, animal print, cheetah, leopard, who knows, who cares. And I'm about to leave to go get a hot chocolate. I got my new iPad, I'm bringing it with me. And I'm gonna, um, I almost have one video edited and ready to load up. I'm gonna work on another one today. And I've got training from 1.30 to 6 for Main Street stuff. So yeah, it's gonna be a happening day. Stop at the storage unit to get the coffee maker that I don't think we need because Marvin just drinks don't don't hate but Marvin just drinks instant coffee and some of the rest of my family does drink coffee but we actually don't have any coffee so I'm gonna have to buy some coffee I guess and um, also I have to go to the bathroom I was gonna go Somebody on this row has like stuff that smells like cats, like cat pee. And trust me, I know what cat pee smells like. Oh. But um, gonna have to buy coffee. Gonna have to figure out what we're gonna eat for the next few days. I gotta get the stuff for the tostada bar. I've gotta get. Oh. Marvin was just at the store. I asked him to get me some broccoli slaw, and they didn't have any. They had one package, but it was like best if bought by yesterday so he didn't buy that for me which is fine and he's gonna buy rotisserie chicken and some mac cheese and that's what we're gonna have for dinner and then I'm gonna plan out what I need to get from the store what else I need to do for the next few days until our company comes just like I did last time got to plan it out and make sure we have everything we need and yeah plan out our itinerary so I kind of know what we're doing, when, where, and for how long, all that kind of stuff. And maybe surprise, I think I'm going to talk Marvin into taking off Friday and Monday when I go to Washington, go with, so he can go with me and then surprise the little grandkids. I think that would be fun. Marvin is such a good granddad um, and the good little kids love him. And like our great great granddaughter Oakley she was just like when she sees well she, when she sees me she's like Anna but when she sees Poppy she's like Poppy which is like how everybody is so okay I'm gonna stop filming because I'm driving I am home now and Marvin was at the store and so I called him and I asked him if um, he could pick me up some broccoli slaw and the only package that they had was expired yesterday and so I'm like, he didn't want to buy it, so, which is fine, because uh, I probably won't eat it, like, all in one sitting anyway, so I need it to last, like, a little while. So, he's going to buy, instead, rotisserie chicken, macaroni and cheese, and that's what we're going to have for supper. Then I'm going to plan out the menu for the rest of the week. I'm going to plan out what we're doing for the rest of the week. So just kind of have an idea of where we're going, when, what, why. Also, in a surprise, which this won't this won't be posted until after anyway, but in a surprise, um, he might be able to take off next week, Friday and the following Monday. And if he can, then he's going to go to Washington with me, and I'm going to book the ticket tonight. So I'm hoping he's thinking about it. So that's good. So I'm hoping that he agrees because I think it'd be super fun. The grandkids would love to see him. And I know Ben would be so happy to see both of us. So like when we see the grand, like we have a little grand, great granddaughter here and Oakley. And when we see Oakley, she's like, yeah, no puppy. Like she's excited to see us. And I'm like the other kids, grandkids in Washington would be super excited to see us as well. So I'm hoping he says yes. I'm hoping he says yes because the ticket price is actually, it's not that much more expensive for him to fly this close out versus when I booked it a um, month or so ago. So, you know, that's not too bad. 
but I'm going to get inside and I'm going to clean up some more. I did not go to that second event. My first event got out a little bit late. Oh, Marvin's calling. Uh, where's the food? Where's the food? Hey, babe. Hey, do we have coffee filters? Do we have them? Yeah. You sound really close. Um, I'm just waiting for Marvin to get home. He was at the store and I thought he was going to be home by now, but he's not. So I'm going to just start straightening up. And I think I'm going to change to my pajamas because that's what I like to do when I get home. <laughs> also, I did get that um, what do you call it? coffee pot out of storage. Marvin normally drinks instant but guess what you were talking about you were talking about filters it like has one in it oh i need to clean it so he's bringing home the rotisserie chicken i'm gonna clean all this up really quick like that. i wish i could do it like that and uh refresh the flowers the flowers still look amazing these are from like two weeks ago these are from easter they still look fun but the water yeah not so much. So I'll put fresh water in there, but I think I'm gonna put those in a little bit smaller vase if I have one, which I'm pretty sure I do. And then I will put some fresh flowers, maybe some different colors. Pretty sure I have some vases. I have some vases up here, but I also have some vases. Yeah, I'm gonna have to move those vases because I have some vases in the guest room in under the sink, which is much easier for me to access and I hear Marvin well, at least I think I do what do we have in here let's check yes I've got a I've got a, a smaller base that I can use I was gonna put a, a smaller like pot of flowers pot of flowers no small base of flowers right there sure I have another small base up top too. Up top there. Up top there. You can even see me pointing. Let me go help Marvin. Hey y'all and welcome to Hot Chocolate Chat. Today I'm drinking a hot chocolate from Starbucks. First time filming this on the new iPhone 10 XS Max. Now I want to talk about Waze. It's not like the latest model of the iPhone. I'm just saying well, it might still be the latest model that's out right now, but anyway, we just we got new phones. But I want to talk about Waze, and I mean, it feels like there's a hair. <laughs> and when I say Waze, I mean W A Z E, Waze, the map driving direction thing app. I probably could Google this and find out, but maybe you know, and you can just tell me sooner. But when you put in, like. I want to go here at, at, okay, so like in your calendar, you have an appointment, okay, and then your appointment starts at 10, then Waze tells you what time to leave, and so, but I want to know, like, is it meaning like, I, I'm in my car, that's what time I need to leave, like, is it giving me any kind of wiggle room on this, because here's my question, so if something starts at one o'clock just say and it's gonna take you 40 minutes to get there is Waze telling you to leave at 1220 or is it going like is it assuming you're in your car ready to go because I need to maybe I need to like give my okay if my appointment times at one maybe give myself like 10 minutes to get from where I'm at to the car because if Waze says oh it's gonna take you 40 minutes to get there leave now like I'm, I'm in the house. Maybe a quicker solution is just for me to adjust the time from one to like 10 till, and then it'll tell me to leave at 10 after 12. I don't know. Because on my old car, I used to put the clock 10 minutes fast. Even, even though I knew it was 10 minutes fast, I would put it 10 minutes fast, and I'd be like, oh, I still got 10 minutes. All right, y'all, I got a busy week, so let me know your thoughts on that. Let me know if it, I'm pretty sure it's the time you're supposed to be in your car going. And I'm rarely in my car 
ready to go at the time Wade says to leave. So anyway, all right, I got to get inside, get some stuff done. Hope you guys have an awesome day. If you want to follow me on Snapchat, it's Side of Awesome. And on Instagram and YouTube, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, though, because that's creepy. I don't know if I entered the vlog, so in case I didn't, I'm editing right now. In case I didn't, I went to, I got a hot chocolate today. I did hot chocolate chat. I'll put that, that's already, I'll put that earlier in the thing. You would have already seen it. It's, it's earlier. And then I went to training from 1.30 to 6 and it was good. I filmed just a couple times there. Nothing really major. And now I am um, going to bed. So it was a great day. I was going to try to go to the training this tomorrow morning. I was say this morning, which in 30 minutes it'll be this morning. But anyway, I was going to go to the training tomorrow morning. But I think I'm just not feeling... Plus, I have stuff to do. And the training stuff tomorrow is something I've already taken. And I was just going to go to kind of get more information. So it's really not mandatory. It's really not needed to go. So I'm probably going to skip it. I'm going to go to the store and get some stuff done and get to the office and make sure that I have Wing Mom set up for the next few weeks because I'm going out of town next week. I've got company this week and I won't really have that much time to be setting up posts and stuff like that. So I'm going to make sure everything is good to go there. And I think after that, not sure. I think that's it for tomorrow. Let me look on my calendar. Probably going to show a house or two tomorrow. Yeah, I have nothing on the calendar tomorrow. Good. I'm going to probably show a rent house. Um, one of my clients just emailed me, and so we'll probably go looking tomorrow. It's supposed to storm tomorrow night. And, gosh, I hope it's not storming Wednesday, because that's when Kat comes in. Kat and Joe. But, yeah, so that's, that's it. It was a good day. And uh, I'm really enjoying being on the Main Street Advisor advisory board for the downtown mesquite area because it just just really something i feel passionate about so that's a great thing but trying not to get sick and trying not to stay up too late although it's already 11 30 so it's too late for that <laughs> but i'm editing another video i'm almost done with it so i'll probably upload these two videos tomorrow and i will take my stuff to work and just really knock out some stuff tomorrow so i can get that out of the way and get caught back up yeah, feels like never is when I'll be caught up, but I know that's not true. I can get stuff done and I can rock it out. So I'm going to say goodnight now. Don't forget to be kind to others. Be kind to others. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.